What's the address? Any number one, where is your emergency? Hi, I'm at. Um, we had an incident earlier where we called. Um, we have um, one of the family members here is having a bit of a psychotic break. There were a couple of um, offices here earlier, and they um, weren't able to find him. He was upstairs, and he's here now, and he's throwing some stuff right now. So if we could get a dispatch here, that would be helpful. Um, I don't know the name of the officers who were here before, um, but I can get those. Sir. Okay. Uh, and uh, does he have any weapons in the home? No, no, no weapons, no guns, no sword, weapons. No weapons of any kind inside the house. Is he having, or is he under the influence of drugs or alcohol? No, he is no. not. No? Okay. Gotcha. Okay, and does he have a history of uh, mental illness? He's, he's struggled with mental health, but he's never had a breakdown like this, like yeah. as a therapist, and, um, but he's never, ever had, like, a breakdown. He's always just, you know, had some anxiety, depression, like we've, we've been working on, but this has never, ever happened before. Is he is diagnosed with anything specific aside from uh, anxiety or depression? No, no official diagnosis. Gotcha. At approximately 7.11 p.m. on July 7th, Officers from the McLean District Station responded to a home in the 6900 block of Arbor Lane in McLean. So he hasn't been eating, hasn't been sleeping apparently. Okay. Um, and yeah, and he, when he was in there and starting to smash picture frames, he said, call 911. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll talk with him and um, I'll see if he even just wants to go voluntarily. Okay. Because yeah. I think if they think yeah. They have an issue and they want to help themselves. That's probably the best issue, yeah, rather than us forcing. Yeah, he did say call nine one one, so okay. that gives me a little bit of hope. Where is he? He went no. upstairs, so you see that back window up there. So is that? Oh, in my is room? it? Can we go? Can room. we go through the front? Yeah, so okay. you can go through the front and then just go up the stairwell mm -hmm. into your left. Yeah, mom gave us permission earlier. Can I? Okay. Hey, Hello. Aaron. Aaron. Hey. Hey, Can bud. Put that down. Whoa. Bud, oh, put, it put, down. It down. put 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 it down. We don't. Can just you put it down, It's please? okay. Can you put it down, please? Aaron, you're all right. Where's one of you off? Hold the channel, please. Bud, it's okay. Am I Aaron's here? You're not in trouble. No. Hey, you Aaron. asked to call for us. Remember? Hey. hey. The officers found Lynch inside the home, holding a bottle and a large decorative wooden tribal mask. The officers attempted to de-escalate the situation with verbal commands inside the foyer. Hey, bud. Put it down. Whoa. Bud, put, it, put it, down. it down. Put 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 it down. We don't. Can you just, put it down, it's okay. Can you put it down, please? Aaron, you're all right. 320 off. Hold the channel, please. Bud, it's okay. Am I Aaron's here? You're not in trouble. No. Lynch threw the mask at an officer and began to swing the bottle in a striking motion. Lynch ran towards the officers while swinging the bottle. Two officers deployed their electronic control weapons but were unsuccessful at stopping Lynch. One officer discharged his firearm, striking Lynch four times. Officers immediately rendered aid until fire and rescue personnel arrived. Lynch was pronounced deceased at the scene. 